Greetings wrestling fans, this is Dean Gordon and welcome to All Star Wrestling Extravaganza number 10 from the Citrus Dome in Orlando, Florida. Our first contest is going to be a tag team matchup. It's going to feature, uh, this was a last minute change, Vance Kirkland Malloy LLC. He uh, has decided for his stable, VKM LLC, Vance Kirkland Malloy has decided that Sifu Wong will not be participating in this match. But instead, we will have the tag team of Ozeki Irizawa teaming up with Mr. Raslin. They are going to be taking on the tag team of Denis de Tomp and the Bruiser. And for those of you that went to Critical Club and checked out the results of Wrestling Cavalcade, Ozeki was successful in his PWF debut against Denis de Tomp, beating him at 11 minutes and 10 seconds with the Ozeki drop. So we will see what will happen now in this matchup as you hear the music now for the Bruiser. He is on his way. The Bruiser and Denis Detente making their way now to the ring. Denis Detente is looking to get a measure of satisfaction, a measure of revenge. And just a reminder, this is part one of All-Star Wrestling Extravaganza 10. The first three matches are this tag team match between Ozeki, Mr. Rasslin, Denis Detomp, and The Bruiser. The second match is going to feature Marlon's Mask against Ron Delicious. The third match is going to feature Deranged Dan versus Thad Lexington. And we have some big matches in part two as well that you need to check out, including the main event. Baba Nookie puts the Florida State Heavyweight title on the line. But here we are now. We're opening matchup. Ed Franklin has called for the bell. The Bruiser and Ozeki starting things off. Ozeki, of course, uh, comes from a sumo background. And the misconception that a lot of people have about sumo is that they are just really fat guys. And now... Obviously, yes, sumo wrestlers are bulkier, but what people fail to understand about sumo wrestlers is that they spend hours of intense training every day. They will do hundreds of shiko, which are the foot stamps with squats. They will lift weights. They will spar on the practice doyo. And there's a nice bow and arrow. For a lot of professional sumo wrestlers, what does the men with the weight gain is eating 20,000 calories a day. Now that's an exaggeration, but they do eat a lot. And there's Mr. Rasta now with a cross arm breaker on Denny Detente. Mr. Rasta rolling out of the ring there. Denny Detente is following. Oh, he missed. Tried to do, try to be a little bit sneaky there, and that one was blocked. As the count is going on, and of course a reminder that instead of a normal 10 count like most American promotions, PWF does use a 20 count, like you see in Japanese wrestling as well as lucha libre. And there you can see Vance Kirkland Malloy on the outside there watching his uh, watching his stable. He, said he has intentions of introducing more wrestlers. One of them is, uh, of course, Sifu Huang, who is supposed to be a Kung Fu master. We will likely see him debut in the near future. And Vance Kirkland Malloy says that he has someone else that he's going to bring in. And he has the intention of strategically placing his wrestlers to capture different uh, titles. And so his designs on this team here of Ozeki and Mr. Raslin. He made it clear that he wants them to become tag team champions. We'll see how they do in this debut match of theirs as a team. Nice move there by the Bruiser. You cannot take this man lightly with his stomach claw, with his tornado slam. The Bruiser is a tough competitor. And Denis Detente, he has been known to pull uh, pinfalls out of nowhere. His biggest victory was against Jason V. So if he can beat Jason V by pinfall... He can catch either Ozeki or Mr. Rasslin off guard. But now we see Mr. Rasslin with a nice uh, spinning toe hold into a snap there. Missing with that big wheel kick. But connecting with those Kesagiri machine gun chops of his. And a big one-two combo there. 
Nice fireman's carry now as he works the crooked arm head scissors. And the bruiser is not having any of that, making the save for his partner and now beating on Mr. Rastlin, who finds himself captured in a bow and arrow lock. Quickly getting out and making his way back and look. I thought he was going to head back to make a tag, but he was trying to get some space, finding himself caught. Probably be regretting not making that tag right now. Nice headlock take over there. The bruiser though back on his feet quickly. Subjected to more chops. And there's the Muda lock. Sickle hold. The bruiser did not give up and honestly I don't think I've ever seen anyone give up to that hold. Mr. Rasslin probably using it as a wear down maneuver. Nice elbow combo there. And a nice Assault of Guitari with a backdrop uh, combination there. And a nice takedown into a sleeper. Right almost in the middle of our of that logo there, you see Monster Games sponsoring All-Star Wrestling Extravaganza number 10. And there's a sumo driver. Will he go for the pinfall? No, he did not. Electing not to go for the pinfall after that big sumo driver. And now there's a cross chop. The bruiser looks like he's in a bit of trouble. Gets enough distance now to go and make the tag. Denny Detente back in the ring. Gets the big man over. And people fail to realize that it's not all strength. Uh, there's also a lot of leverage as well. Using physics. Nice elbow strikes there. Ozeki was working that leg. The Bruiser making the save, and now Ozeki, he's heading back. He's making a tag to his partner, Mr. Rastlin, coming back in the ring. Nice Supari strike right there. Mr. Rastlin locking in the half Boston Crab. Nice one-two combo sends the Bruiser down. Vance Kirkman Malloy has got to be happy with his, uh, with his stable so far. And a beautiful Tiger suplex with that bridge. His mouth, his chin was touching the ground. That is expert level bridging right there. And now here we have another tag. Mr. Rastlin sent into the corner. Nice job there by Denny Detempe. He tried to cut off the ring, but now Mr. Rastlin finds himself back on his side again. Connecting with that one-two punch combo. And finding himself the victim of low blow there by the Bruiser. Nice German suplex there, opting to release it instead of holding the bridge. And nice reverse drop into the just face lock. There's a little bit of influence of uh, by uh, Minoru Suzuki there with that combo. Big strike once again. That one-two combo is uh, pretty dangerous there by Mr. Rastlin. As the Bruiser executing his own spinning toe hold now. Nice knee right there. The Bruiser fighting out of it. It looks like he's going to make... Yes, he's making another tag. 1-2 combo again. And final rolling elbow. Oh my goodness, that is it. The knee day top has been knocked out. They are calling this matchup. And your winners, and look at that, Mr. Raston still with some extracurricular activities. Folks, that was a great match. Here we are now with our second matchup. It is going to be a one-on-one -on -one contest between Marlins Mask and Ron Delicious. Marlins Mask, of course, he's looking like uh, something from uh, out of the Warriors. Using the colors of the Miami Marlins baseball team there. And his opponent is Ron Delicious. And um, the interesting thing about this matchup is that uh, Marlins Mask is a cruiserweight. Ron Delicious is a heavyweight. So one would expect him to have the advantage there. But we will soon see. As we are waiting now for Ron Delicious to make his entrance. Ron Delicious in a... Uh, 
Looks like he got that tuxedo top and hat from Wish.com. Looking a bit like a circus ringmaster there. As this match now gets underway, Jerome McKinney is calling for the bell, and we are underway for this matchup. 20 minute time limit. Nice reversal there by Marlin Smash. Coming off the rope and missing with the flying cross chop. Let's see what Ron Delicious can do. Marlin Smash try, trying again, missing another move. So far, uh, two strikes against him. Missing again. Oh, he connected with that one, though. Going for a quick cover. Ron Delicious quickly out of that one. Just a minute gone now in this matchup. And a nice reversal. Ron Delicious still right onto the floor. Marlins mask. He's taking a step back. Doing a little taunting right there. Oh, and he followed off with a beautiful spinning lariat. Ron Delicious felt that one. And a nice brain buster right there by Ron Delicious. Uh, sorry, on Ron Delicious, rather, I should say. Marlins Mask. He was successful in his debut against Game Crazy. And then he was involved in a battle royal where it turned out that to uh, where it turned out to be the debut of Mr. Rasslin that was at a wrestling cavalcade. Marlins Mask lost the battle royal thanks to Mr. Rasslin. We'll see if those two meet down the road, but right now, Marlins Mask having his hands full a little bit with Ron Delicious there. Winning that exchange and now dropping in with the headbutt. Diving head first into second base. Delicious comes back with a snapmare takeover. Waki Gatame there, and once again you see that Monster Games logo, 100% whey protein. Monster Games sponsoring the event for All Star Wrestling Extravaganza 10 here in the Citrus Dome in Orlando. And a nice kick to the face right there. And a big dash straight. Marlins Mask coming off the ropes, not connecting with anything. Trying again and missing. So far his offense has been a bit hit or miss. Split legged moonsault. Beautifully executed, going for the cover, got a two count, and that's it, just for just a two count for now. You can hear the applause of the fans there. Both men really missing with their strikes. But Marlins Mask has the Wakigatame back. Ron Delicious managed, managed to escape, missing again with a chop. Now there's a reversal. Neither man is really connecting with... Oh, there's a nice counter. Just a one count right there, but neither man is really connecting with much offense in this matchup. And a nice headbutt there sends Marlin's mask to the uh, outside floor. He's back in the ring and eating a big uppercut. And now he takes a nasty spill outside. He's gone until the count of 20 to uh, answer the referee and get back in the ring. He's still down. He was down for a few seconds. That must have rattled him. A couple of big kicks right there sends Ron Delicious down and beautiful cannonball sent on. Will he go for the cover? Will that get him a three? Two count. That was nicely done there by Marlins Mask. That was close around Delicious, showing a little something of his fortitude. Marlins Mask is back to his feet, and oh, he missed with that one. 
And he paid for it with that uppercut and a big DDT there by Ron Delicious coming off the ropes now. Big time elbow drop. Off the ropes again. Both men collided in the middle of the ring. Oh, good slingshot right there into a cross body block. Slingshot plancha. Both men now up again. We have passed the 10 minute mark. This match is a 20 minute time limit. Nice move right there. Nicely done. Marlins Mask trying for it again. Missing. Going for the cover. 2.9. That was close right there. And now Ron Delicious picking up Marlins Mask. Let's see if he can pick up the victory. Nice kick right there as a counter. Beautiful neck breaker. Marlins Mask doing some taunting again. Oh, he missed that again. And he missed again. Marlins Mask really needs to pull it, and he messed up another move. It looks like Marlins Mask really needs to. Uh, Work on, oh, and he missed uh, something else. He needs to work on his accuracy because these mistakes are going to give Ron Delicious an opportunity. And if Ron Delicious doesn't uh, connect and Marlins Mask keeps making no mistakes, he will find himself with competition who will indeed make him pay for those errors. Big DDT right there into a stomach claw. Marlins Mask's batting average for moves in this match is, uh, it uh, leaves a little something to be desired. Big time elbow drop from the top rope by Ron Delicious. Ron Delicious looks like he could put this one away soon. But no, there is a big time move right there. And just like that, Ron Delicious turns the tide. Nice block right there. Marlins Mask, let's see what he's going to try for. Finds himself to end from another DDT. Jawbreaker beautifully done, and he's trying for it again. This is the third, fourth, or fifth time now, and he's never connected. He needs to uh, rethink his strategy, rethink some of the moves he has in his arsenal. Going for the split leg of Moonsault again. 2.9. Look at that. Ron Delicious kicking out right there. Good for him. Ron Delicious, I mean, he might be a bit of a... He has a joke name. He has a joke wardrobe, but... He certainly is showing that he's got some fortitude in this matchup. Jawbreaker once again. Going back up. Nailing that sent that cannibal sent on nailed it again. Will he do it? And yes, he will. Your winner at 1656 with the cannibal sent on is Marlins Mask. Folks, stay tuned for the next matchup. It is going to be a good one. And now here we are, folks, with our third match of the evening. This is going to feature Deranged Dan versus Thad Lexington. Thad Lexington from Beverly Hills, California. He will likely um, have JP Moneybags at ringside. Member of the syndicate right there. The syndicate have fallen on hard times lately. He calls himself the Paragon of Excellence.
Ed Franklin now starting this matchup. There's the bell. We are underway. Big body slam right there by Deranged Dan. Ramming the shoulder into the shoulder. And there you see JP Moneybags there in the tuxedo. You just know he is going to do something in this match to interfere on behalf of his partner. Whether or not it will cause the range Dan to lose, we will have to wait and see. The range Dan now taking control early. He is a big man. But that Lexington, he is crafty, he is wily, he's a good wrestler, he is also devious. And he will take shortcuts if needed. Oh, look at that short arm clothesline right there. Big time impact. But that Lexington coming back with those dirty tricks. Big impact there on that power slam and a big boot. Lexington was dazed for a second. Coming back now with more dirty tactics. And there you see JP Moneybags is up on the apron. Range Dan though, looking undeterred. Both men now exchanging those big punches. And Dan goes to range Dan. Lexington off the top with a nice fist drop. We have some uh, this this match is shaping up to be a good one so far. Four minutes into it. Also, we have some big matches scheduled for later. We have a tag team contender match between the Dynamic Duo, duo 66 Batman and Robin 66. They will take on the team of Battle Tiger and Osamu Ishikawa. That is a tag team rematch from All-Star Wrestling Extravaganza 9. And it was decided that it would be a tag team contender match. That'll be uh, so. So that'll be one to watch later on, and then of course the big one that we've all been waiting for. Lexington had the pin, but Deranged Dan got some applause there as he kicked that at one, and now he's going for a cover. Got the two can't there. As I was, uh, I bet to say before those pinfall attempts, the big one coming up later on is the Electric Joy Boy taking on. Bob Anuki for the Florida State Heavyweight title. And in the Electric Joy Boy, he was injured, came back from injury. Oh, look at that sumo choke slam. Deranged Dan has put opponents away with that sumo choke slam before. But the Electric Joy Boy, later on in our main event, it's his first opportunity at a top title. He's been in a lot of promotions, and he has never, even though he's had championship gold, he knows what it's like to be a tag team champion. He knows what it's like to be a transcontinental champion. He knows what it's like to be a hardcore champion. But he doesn't know what it's like to be the top champion in, in a promotion, in an organization. And tonight is his big chance. As we see now, a chance for Deranged Dan. He has a big chance right now to put a beating on Thad Lexington. If he doesn't waste it, Lexington missing. And there you see he is dazed, but came back just like that. Desperation DDT going for the cover. And the fans taking to Derange Dan. Big, blonde, muscular, and crazy. And there's another Desperation DDT right there. Just spiked him, but... Dan fighting out of it now with a big boot. Lexington is trying to get behind him to lock in that million dollar reality, but Deranged Dan has been uh, escaping it. And look at the leverage there on that double underhook suplex, but Deranged Dan back on his feet right away. There it is. There's the million dollar clutch, but he's in the ropes. Deranged Dan there managed to escape thanks to that rope break.
discus punch finds its mark. Ten minutes have now passed in this matchup as deranged Dan with another big discus punch. Lexington with the super kick, but Dan back to his feet with a big boot. Both men are down. Lexington manages to get up first, but no real advantage. Working over to range Dan with that American punch rush. And the super kick connects. Can Lexington uh, get a victory? Oh, he didn't go for the pin with that one. And the range Dan there takes him over. Oh, that power bomb whip there by Deranged Dan. The rope break, but look at that. JP Moneybags jumped up as well. Ed Franklin now dealing with him. Lexington going for a cover, but one, the referees distracted still, so it worked against them. And then Deranged Dan was close to the ropes there. That would have been broken up. Lexington managed to get out of that submission hold. That's where he could have used some help with the distraction. Lexington now diving off the top of the big elbow, going for the cover. That was how he managed to actually get a pinfall victory in a tag match over our champion, Bob and Nookie, with that very move. So, to range Dan, showing that uh, he's not done yet. Lexington still has a ways to go to wear him down. series of punches there once again by Thad Lexington the paragon of excellence from Beverly Hills California Lexington now on the apron biding his time and a slingshot plancha nicely done with that cross body block and a leg feed in Zagiri but deranged Dan back on his feet like it had no effect that's the thing of a fighting crazy discus punch connects there Lexington is flat on his back Range Dan picking him up and knocks him down again. And puts him down again with that big boot. Range Dan now, he is just beating on Thad Lexington. Schoolboy, but Range Dan is in the ropes. He has those long limbs. Nice canter there by Deranged Dan, catching the kick and tripping Thad Lexington, but Lexington comes right back with the super kick. Off the ropes, let's see what he has. There's a clothesline, but Deranged Dan is back. Lexington, he escapes and hits a nice reverse DDT. They're both up at the same time, so there was no advantage to that move. Bought Lexington a few seconds, but he couldn't follow up on it. As Lexington again goes up at the elbow drop, driving it into the small of the back of the range to Dan. And look at the power of Dan right there. Gorilla Press slams Lexington over the top rope onto the apron to the floor. Both men are outside. Ed Franklin, he has, uh, he'll be counting up to 20, and then this one's going to be a, a double count. At. And now JP Moneybags, he's in on it. Look at this. Slapping the range stand, but the range stand now, he gets back into the ring. There's a shoulder claw, but look at this, J.P. Moneybags, he is distracting the referee. Lexington was able to get out. Less than a minute to go now. This match has a 20-minute time limit. I just heard the announcement. One minute to go now as both men are back inside. There's no count. Nice DDT right there. And he's got him with the million-dollar reality. He's locked it in, but wait a minute. What is going on there? The count is going on. Lexington is catching his breath. 
I don't know if he realizes what's going on, but the range Dan is knocked out. The referee is tanning, and the bell has rung. It looks like this is actually a draw. Folks, that's the end of part one. We thank you for joining us, and uh, join us for part two.